storms uh, did stay uh, to the north yesterday. Uh, there was a low end severe weather risk in our area. Now, Valverde County at one point did see a severe thunderstorm, which dropped over two inches of rain that hit very rural areas of northwest Valverde County. Closer to Comal County, a couple showers there, but didn't amount to much. The big stuff was farther north. Talked about a tornado that hit Temple, Texas yesterday. And yes, there were uh, tornado watches across central Texas yesterday. Over four inches of rainfall there. Waco, uh, just over three inches of rainfall. And that's where most of the thunderstorm activity will stay today, north of our region. Here this morning, it's warm, clouds increasing. It's also very humid. May see some sprinkles or mist this morning. Little shower there, uh, just south of Carn City. Here is a severe thunderstorm. So earlier it weakened, now it's uh, strengthening once again. Severe thunderstorm warning that a cell is pushing off towards the east, so it's not coming this far south. Uh, let's check out the severe storm outlook once again. It's North Texas and Central Texas that could see some scattered severe thunderstorms, and we're talking storms just like yesterday, producing large hail, high winds, heavy rain, which could cause flooding, along with the potential for some tornadoes. There is a flood watch that's in effect for Sherman, Dallas, down towards Waco. Uh, any additional rainfall there will cause some additional flooding. Across the country, well, there is a boundary that's stretched across uh, North Texas. Underneath that, we're still getting that warm and humid air that's coming up from the south. If you're traveling outside of San Antonio today, perhaps getting uh, that holiday weekend started early, this is what it looks like farther to the north. There's some rain across the high plains, rain and snow across Montana and Wyoming, and there is some rainfall along a cold front there in the northeast. The southeast dry and much of the west coast is dry. Going through the day, we'll see less cloud cover. It heats up with more sunshine highs getting into the upper 90s. Could see a thunderstorm getting close to northern Comal County, northern Guadalupe County, but again, most of that will stay off towards the north. That's going to be late tonight. Tomorrow in the morning, more cloud cover, and then in the afternoon becoming partly to mostly sunny. That continues into Memorial Day weekend. Now let's talk about the heat. Heat advisory between 1 and 7 down to the south. That's where heat index temperatures could climb over 110. It's going to get hotter. In fact, here in San Antonio, we could have those heat alerts as early as tomorrow because from tomorrow through Monday feels like temperatures between 105 and 115 degrees. Friday, the heat risk potential extreme off towards the west and south major here in May. It's typically in the minor category and just know that again, it's going to get worse over the Memorial Day weekend. Triple digit high temperatures here Saturday through Memorial Day Monday. Some relief. The next weather maker, a cool front comes in on Tuesday. I've never been happier to see at low 90s by next Tuesday, Wednesday, low 90s with a 20 to 30% rain chance. Could the upper 80s in the hill country by late next week.